everyone and welcome back to the vlog. My name is Claire Carmichael and I am a general practice nurse. So just wanted to do this vlog because with the announcement of the lockdown, the cases of COVID are going up, the death rate is going up. It's going to be tough right now. So I wanted to do this vlog to make sure that you as student nurses mainly get the right support and help and advice and everything that you need whilst out there and protecting yourself and your families. So as a student nurse, if you're going on to your placement and they are testing their staff regularly for COVID, then you should be included in those numbers. You should be getting regular testing as well, as long as the staff. This has been made very publicly clear. There is letters and all sorts online publicly for you to see and take into your placement if you are struggling with this. Next, PPE. Make sure you have got the right PPE for your placement and your patients. If you're dealing with COVID positive patients, um, you're going to need some top PPE. I'm going to put all the links below which PPE you should have for which patients and when, and hopefully that will just help you out. Um, there's a lot of guidance out there about PPE, what type of patients you should be using, what for. So just make sure that you've got the right PPE before stepping foot on a placement. Make sure you are protected. Stay safe, guys, and protect your family as well. Because as nurses, we don't often think about ourselves and protecting ourselves. We automatically think about other people. I do it as well. I still do it today. I will only speak up if a patient is going to be affected, if patient safety is infected, anything like that, patient abuse. I will stand up and stick up for my patient. I will also stick up for my friends and my colleagues that I work with and student nurses, which is why I'm here. Um, but when it comes to myself, I'm just like, yeah, whatever. But anybody else I will fight for. Um, and I think that's just a normal thing that we do as nurses. It's something we do. But it's really, really important. COVID is out there. We can die from this. So it's really important that you get the right level of protection to keep yourself safe, protect yourself from COVID and also protect your family that you might be going back home to. So just some little tips about keeping yourself safe whilst out on placement. So the first thing you want to do before you go onto your placement, ring them, make contact with them, like I've said before, um, find out what PPE is there, what type of patients they've got, just to give you a bit more awareness of what you're walking into on your first day. And just make sure that that PPE and all of the safety measures are put in place before you step foot on that ward. That's the number one thing to do. Maintaining that two metre rule is another one. I know it's very, very hard as healthcare professionals. We can't physically keep two metres away from patients and things like that because we have to do observations and injections and all sorts of personal care. Um, so this is more about where you can try and keep two metres. So if you're in the staff room, for example, trying to keep that space between you all. Staggering breaks out of, throughout the day, maybe, so that people are going at different times so that not everyone's sort of communing in the staff room make sure that you're staying safe in that staff room and um, around the nurses station and things like that just keeping the space wearing your full ppe um, unless you're going out to eat your lunch or anything like that just make sure you're just following that guidelines and that will hopefully help a little bit hand washing hand washing hand washing everyone is sick to death of hearing about hand washing but i've got to add in this make sure you're hand washing all of the time properly with hot soapy water Get it done using alcohol gel in between where you can't. And then as soon as you see a sink, wash your hands. Don't just rely on build up alcohol gel because eventually it's going to get really sticky. Your hands are going to feel awful. You need to be washing that those hands as soon as you see some hot soap and water as much as possible. Even if you think that you don't need to do your hands because they're clean, do it. Doesn't matter. Just do it because these type of viruses sit on the surface. It's not something you see with your eyes. So... You don't know it's there until you've got it in the body. So it's really important you wash your hands constantly. And if you've got a ward full of non-COVID patients or you think they're non-COVID because they haven't got any symptoms or anything, but they still could be carrying the virus. So it's really important to maintain that infection control between every single patient. So make sure you're hand washing, changing aprons, changing gloves, doing everything you can to avoid cross-contamination between patients and yourself and your colleagues as well. But to be honest, I don't work on the wards at the minute, so I have no idea what people are doing out there on the wards with COVID positive patients, with COVID negative patients, the routine and things like that. So I can't really give much advice on that other than just if you think it's wrong, then it's probably going to be wrong. So just avoid it or um, ask for some support on something or 
ask for some guidance on something, have a Google at some guidelines and things like that. Look these things up. If you think, feel that something's not right or something's wrong, then you have to look into it a bit more and make it right. I have heard recently so many worrying stories from student nurses that haven't been given the right PPE. They're not getting tested with the rest of the staff because they're just a student. This is the words from these people and that's not okay to me. Um, if you are a student and you'll be treated like this, please speak up about it. Take it further because this is not okay. You should be getting tested along with the staff. You should be treated as the same as the staff. You should be getting full PPE. But anyone that's COVID positive, especially if they're coughing and spluttering, you need that proper um, aerosol generated mask thing, whatever it's called, NP36. PO something <laughs> but don't let them fob you off because you're a student no I'm sorry you're a human being just like the rest of their staff so please make sure you've got the proper PPE for what you're doing you're being treated like a human being getting tested along with the rest of the, the team but then if your uni's already doing testing and stuff then don't worry about that part but if you're not getting any testing at all and then you're going to a placement that are testing their staff regularly you should be included in those numbers as well because you're part of their team for the next however many weeks but obviously, NMC code of conduct and all that jazz, we must be professional about these things. So don't go in organs blazing, go rah, rah, rah. That's not OK. Do it in a professional manner. Get your evidence, get your backup, present it, done. <laughs> And lastly, I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you so much to all of you student nurses out there who are fighting in this pandemic right now. This is going to be some of the toughest year, months, whatever of your lives during this whole nursing career. Um, and if you and if you can get through this, you can get through absolutely anything. Think how resilient and strong you'll be at the end of all of this. And I know it's a pretty crap time right now. You're going to be feeling really deflated, really tired, exhausted, even fatigued, uh, really demotivated. You must be feeling really, really down there right now. But you have to keep the faith. You have to keep going. You have to keep smiling. You have to stay motivated. You have to remind yourself why we're, in, why we're doing this, why we're in this. And if you leave the course or anything, who's going to nurse in the future if everybody leaves? So just remind yourself why you came into nursing. Get that motivation back in your heart. Think about qualifying and getting your PIN number and being a qualified nurse on the wards or the community or primary care, wherever you want to go. It's, it's just you need to keep that motivation in there because it is tough. And there are going to be many days, many, probably most days that you want to quit and give up. But you know what? You are amazing. You can do this. And at the end of it, you'll be so, so proud of everything that you've just come through and fought through to save our world, save our planet, basically. I mean, look at those numbers like I talked about at the start of the video. Those numbers are rising. The more we can do and the more things that we can put into place to save other people, the better. And there's no other reward. There's there's nothing more rewarding than saying that I saved lives during a pandemic. It's amazing. It's still the best career to me in my life. But yes, just please take some time out. Get the support you need if you really are struggling. Never suffer in silence because you don't need to. Everyone is probably feeling like this right now. So just make sure you get the support, get some help, make sure you're okay. Take some time out if you need to. You know, the course is still going to be here at the end of the day. There's no rush to finish by such and such a date. You've got your whole lives ahead of you. So look after yourself first before anything else, guys. Just take care of each other, take care of yourself and keep going. You're doing amazing. You're doing fantastic and a massive loves, hugs, to every single one of you for being amazing. Thank you. And lastly, my inbox is always open as always. If you need anything, if you need advice, anything about anything, then please inbox me. I'm not going to give you medical advice because we can't do that. We're not allowed. Um, but if you, you're struggling mentally, um, if 
you need some help with PPE or COVID guidelines or anything like that, please send me a message because I can try my best. If you can't find it, obviously you look yourself first. Don't bring it all on me. Come on, guys. I've got a job to do. I've got three jobs actually that I'm doing at the minute. Um, so yeah, but my inbox is open. I will reply and respond and help. And if I cannot um, help or if there's something way out of my expertise, I can signpost you to the right people. So yeah, so my inbox is always open. So give me a message if you need to. And if you just want to say hello or send me a fun gift to cheer me up, Claire, I will do that. No problem at all. <laughs> so have a great day, everyone. And I shall see you next time.